Greetings and welcome to a new video. I hope you're all doing well. So this is the detailed guide on how to use OpenRain natively on Windows without USB, without PLNX and jailbreak your iOS 16 or iOS 15 device. So as you can see, I have this iPhone 8 Plus on iOS 16.6 .6 and it is a freshly restored device. As you can see, it is not jailbroken. So first of all, we will have to complete all the requirements so simply head to the github page for open rain open rain is a completely free software and it is also completely open source as you can see it right here so when you are at this github page simply hit on code and download zip from here it will include all these files all right so for example i have downloaded it already open rain main dot zip done now simply head to releases here now here when you are in releases scroll down and you will have to get these two files libusb dot dll and open rain all right so for example i have already got these two open rain and libusb 1.0 dot dll done next you will need Zarding. Zarding is also completely free, which we will use to change our drivers to the different drivers to make this work. So get to its official website and get it from here. So for example, I have already got Zarding here. Done. The next step is to extract the zip file by right clicking it extract all and then simply move zarding libusb and open rain simply copy or cut so to make things easy for you all right open the folder and here paste these files done now guys simply move the open rain folder that you have extracted and move files to to a location that you can easily access so i have moved it to d drive root open rain and you can see i have all the files zarding open rain and libusb all right the next thing you will need to run it is python so it is very easy to install go to start and cmd and then type here python all right press enter and it will automatically open the windows store for you or the microsoft store and it will automatically redirect you to python 3.11 if it does not work for you i'm on windows 11 all right so it is working for me if it does not work for you simply you will have to search here python and now simply get python 3.11 Now simply install it. It is also completely free. All right, guys, once installed, you can close out of it and then simply type Python again, press enter and you should see this. All right. Now simply close out of this CMD, open CMD again. Now guys, here type pip install pyusb and press enter and this should install usb core with py usb once you see this you are done with the requirements now you can simply close out of it now guys from here open zadig as an administrator now guys simply go to options list all devices you can see you can see this apple usb multiplexer now get your device into dfu mode all right i will do it now all right guys so my device is now in dfu and if you check out the list you can see apple mobile device in dfu mode now you'll see this driver win usb or whichever driver now simply hit this button the down arrow and select usb k and then replace driver and you will see installing driver here so wait until this process is complete all right as you can see the driver 
was installed successfully you can close it but do not close Zardig just yet now open a new CMG alright and now get it to the path where you have open drain so it is in D for me so CD open drain to get to the dire and then here type open rain dot exe press enter and you will see that your device will stuck here at stage zero so what you will do you will go to Zardig again go to DFU mode again and replace the driver once again in Zardig to lib USB K all right from win USB and then you can see the process is done Pongu OS sent should be booting your device will get stuck at the Pongu OS screen so we will wait for the driver installation to fully complete first also on your device as I have told you you will see this Pongu OS screen and it will get stuck here all right so once the driver installation is fully complete hit close now you will see Pongu OS USB device right here you will see that it has the driver for lib USB K we will again change it to lib USB win 32 all right and then replace driver this can take some time all right so the driver installed successfully to lib USB win 32 you can minimize it now we will have to run the boot.py file so what you will do is open the same prompt then type python 3 boot.py press enter and the instruction should complete and your device will start booting and you will see the verbose boot on your device if you see it you have completed the process now guys on your device i want to show you that it is the same device so that you can check out the details from the start of the video to make sure that it is the same device so you can see i have the parent loader right here so make sure you are connected to wi-fi and you know how to install the package manager so i will go with Celio, and it will get Celio. it will download the base system and everything now simply set a password you can see install completed you can see Celio on your home screen and it is working just fine please note that this will install the rootless Pelerin jailbreak as you can see rootless iOS 16.6 .6, all right iPhone 8 plus and you can see everything is working just fine without any problems now guys in rare cases your iTunes drivers can get messed up after using this process but for me they are working just fine as you can see iTunes can open and it is properly displaying my device so in case it does not work for you what you can do is you can simply go to Windows update and simply check for updates and it will automatically show you an Apple driver that you can install from here fixing iTunes as you can see it in my update history I have already installed it before because my iTunes was a bit messed up that's all for this video if you still have questions please ask in the comment section and I will help you as soon as possible I will see you in a new video goodbye and take care of yourself